Most little girls have their favorite TV shows. Callie Rogers is no different. She's almost two, and in her own way, she tells her parents what she wants to watch. When we go to ask her if she wants to watch a certain video, we put two videos up. Picks it by looking, she'll look at them both two or three times, and then she'll stare at the one, and that's the one she wants to watch. Callie has a very rare form of muscular dystrophy, so rare that doctors couldn't find another child in the world who presented with symptoms like Callie's right from birth. Uh, when she was born, like she didn't cry like a normal baby did, and when she came out, she was really floppy, like her arms just fell, her legs just fell. There was no, there was no life there. Even though Katrina had a healthy pregnancy, they knew right away that Callie was challenged. John and Katrina were determined to get her strong enough to bring her home. In that first year, they celebrated every holiday with their little girl at the Janeway. Kelly needed a lot of help with breathing because of her muscle weakness. Um, we tried all sorts of different um, ventilators and assist devices. Kelly was here just under a year. Our goal was to get her home before her first birthday and we achieved that. Finally, Kelly celebrated her first birthday at home in Stephenville. Since then, they've been adjusting to life with a child with very special needs. They have home support around the clock. Callie needs someone by her side at all times. Well, in a normal little girl's closet, you'd find toys and clothes, whereas in Callie's closet, it's all of her supplies that we need to take care of her on a daily basis, from uh, syringes and gauzes and peroxide and everything we need to do to take care of her. And this is only half of what we get to come in on a monthly basis. Callie's great. I mean, uh, you play with her. She knows who, like, she know, she recognizes me. She recognizes John. Like, we know mentally that Callie's unaffected by what she has, which is probably one of the reasons why they work so hard to let us bring her home. Because if she needed all this care but had no mental abilities, it, she probably wouldn't be here. Katrina and John do whatever they can for the little girl they adore so much. She loves the fresh air and loves music. She's always happy, she's always laughing, and she's very responsive to everything we do. And she'll be two in August that she, she knows left foot, right foot. You know, she knows that, you know, if I'm singing out to her, she'll, she'll answer me, and she knows all these, her favorite songs, and she's very aware of everything around her. I think her brain is, uh... It's probably even better than the average one. She doesn't talk yet, but I think that's due to the, uh, the trach itself and not getting the full air up through her vocal cords. But uh, mind-wise, she seems to be extremely intelligent. Around the world, groundbreaking research is being tested that might someday make a difference in Callie's life. I think by putting money into research, ultimately we can find um, more out about these rare conditions and then hopefully create treatments um, that will improve the quality of life for both children and families um, with genetic conditions or other conditions as well. There is nobody else in the world with the same change in the gene that she has. So we have no way of knowing how long she'll live or if she'll get better or if she'll get worse. We don't know anything. There are a couple of kids that were similar, but they, uh, they don't really have anything in common, so we can't even compare. So Callie will be whoever she is, whenever she wants to be. <laughs> no, that's your fun? You just enjoy the outdoors? <laughs>